Hey guys, it's Monday. It's the start of a new week. Got my little buddy Django here hanging out with me while I'm working. I do like being able to work next to a window. He's like my work from home boss. He's a little demanding sometimes, but for the most part, I enjoy working for him. Okay, Django, you're a good boy most of the time. <laughs> All right, work day is done. Another Monday in the books. So I'm getting ready to go sit outside and read. And I finished Salem's Lot last week, and so now I'm on to The Shining. I'm still on a Stephen King kick. I have this umbrella that I'm taking out there with me because I want to stay out of the sun, but I still want to enjoy outside. And the umbrella that we have, our patio umbrella, um, like this little cable on it broke yesterday. So Brian's going to try to fix it, but in the meantime, I'm taking this. It's a golf umbrella, so it's really big. I'm going to take that out with me. Okay, here's Mr. Django. Hey, buddy. So, but yeah, so that's what's next on the agenda on this Monday. It's really windy outside, so I don't know how the umbrella is going to work. We'll see how long it'll last. Okay, so here I am out here with my umbrella, and it's really windy, but it scared me. We have um, two maple trees in the front yard. One of them has those little helicopters on it, you know, the, the seed pods or whatever. The other one doesn't. And one of the helicopters just landed on the umbrella and it scared me. I thought it was a wasp at first. So hopefully the wind won't try to take my umbrella away. So we're gonna try this out and uh, hopefully some Point this week Brian can fix our outdoor umbrella but I think he's got kind of a busy week so we'll see but I'm gonna try it out for now and read my book and see if I can find some way to prop this umbrella up because right now I'm I'm holding it so we'll see I love this rainbow umbrella it's really pretty but if I can figure it out it'll do a job <laughs> guys, today's Tuesday, working from home as usual, came in to get some breakfast. So I'm having a banana and some almonds and right now I'm on to the oven roasted dark chocolate. I get these or the low sodium and sometimes I'll do the smokehouse but they're a little bit more sodium so I usually stick with these or the lower sodium ones. So getting some breakfast and getting back to work. Hey guys, so it's Tuesday after work now, so I'm, as long as the weather's nice, I try to come outside, um, and so that's what I'm doing today, and it's supposed to start thunderstorming later, so it's um, starting to cloud up, so I'm going to sit and read my book for a little while, at least until the clouds start producing rain, um, talking about thunderstorms, which um, I like thunderstorms, just like the thunder and lightning. I think I've said multiple times I like just regular thunderstorms, not the kind that come with like damaging winds or hail or anything like that. But so yeah, I just got done putting the snow shovels in the shed, and then Brian and I Tuesdays are like the day that we gather all the trash and take the the trash dumpsters down to the curb and everything because they pick them up on Wednesdays so we got all the trash together and um, I think we're gonna have chili dogs for dinner and yeah in the meantime I'm gonna read some more of The Shining and that's the update for now you can't tell but it's starting to get a lot darker out and I'm feeling a few sprinkles um, our red buds are losing their buds that's what all that is on the ground see the all the purple I think it looks really pretty um but yeah I think my time outside is gonna be limited today but I'm still sticking it out it's just a raindrop here and there but and it's cooled off 
quite a bit. I'm starting to like feel a chill in the air and I actually am in shorts today which is awesome so but yeah just another little update okay guys lovely look right I just got out of the bath and I'm getting ready to start working on some sloppy joes so we're gonna have for dinner tonight and uh, it's Wednesday and after five and I just realized I haven't said hi today. So, hi! <laughs> and now I'm gonna start some Sloppy Joes. I'm gonna start the hamburger now. And no, I don't make them homemade. I use Manwich. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about for Manwich. And then I don't remember if I ever showed you guys this. And some of you probably have one of these, but this, I love this tool for hamburger. I got mine at Target. Um, they're probably all over the place, but I love this thing for hamburger. It is, it is awesome. Hey, Django, are you ready for dinner too? Yeah. Here you go. Hey guys, it's Thursday and I just got off work and I'm sitting outside. <clears throat> I'm trying to rig this. This is actually an umbrella that like clips onto things, but this um, wicker bench that I'm on, like I would rather clip it on the back because the sun's still hitting me on this side and I'm gonna have to try to, I think I'm gonna go sit in a chair instead of this bench because there's one that's in the shade. But anyway, <laughs> I've got it clipped to the arm and if the sun was coming from that direction, it would work, but it's not, so I figured I would check in with you guys and then I would mess with this umbrella some more, but I'm going to read some more of The Shining. I'm only on page about 170, so I haven't gotten too far into it yet. Um, <clears throat> again, I like the book <laughs> a lot so far. Um, Jack in the book is a lot more likable than Jack in the movie um, but anyway that is his name right yeah Jack <laughs> I was thinking am I thinking Jack Nicholson or am I thinking but it anyway I'm rambling <coughs> it was a really busy busy day today not stressful just busy those are the kind of days I like because I feel like I accomplish things, the day goes by fast, um, you know, I just, I like those kind of days. So I don't mind busy, I like busy, it's just stressful I don't like. But like I said, it wasn't stressful, so. <sighs> but even though it wasn't stressful, it was still, I don't know how to explain it, tiring, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm gonna sit out here and read for a while. Um, I think we're gonna just have leftovers for dinner because we had a ton of Sloppy Joe stuff left. Because um, I don't know why Brian bought such a big pack of hamburger. I think it's because it's hard to find, like at least here in Missouri, um, the meat section is getting like, went, dwindled down, I mean even, even like cold cuts and hot dogs and even things that are not fresh meat are dwindling down quite a bit, you know, because um, cause of the, well, I'm not going to talk about COVID-19 and all that stuff, but everybody probably already knows everything that's going on with that. Um, and you see enough of that stuff on TV and everything else, so I'm not going to add to it <laughs> right now so anyway I'm gonna sit here and read um, can't really think of anything else um, so I'll quit rambling but I'll talk to you again soon so we're out and about a little bit we're headed to Sonic what is it Tuesdays or like cheeseburger Tuesday yeah or babe, something? but it's Thursday oh it's Thursday <laughs> okay <laughs> All the days run together. I'm glad it's not Tuesday. <laughs> We're just gonna go regular <laughs> price tonight. It's just worth it. It's a beautiful day. 70 what? Well, it's a little it's warmer. Like 76 right now. Sunshine and no wind. Gotta go out and enjoy it a little bit.
Man, it's packed. Yeah. People are wanting to get out, but you're still supposed to be doing the social distancing, so. What we do, we're all in our Sonic's car. Sonic's a good place. If there's a spot. Hey guys, so here we are again outside, except today is Friday. Just got off work. It's well, a little bit after three now. And I'm getting ready to <clears throat> read some more of The Shining. I'm about on to page 300 now. I think it's like 298. And I'm still really enjoying this. Um, not quite halfway through. I think getting close halfway though. Um, and then I think for dinner tonight we're going to have leftover Sloppy Joes. I'm not sure. It depends on if Brian comes home with any... Um, grand plans yesterday was really nice because he he was like what do you think about going to Sonic and so I don't know why I was like all of a sudden thinking it was Tuesday thank goodness it wasn't but I'm like really screwed up on my days this week because last what well, was like early this morning about four in the morning I think and I got up to use the restroom and I was sitting there thinking man I'm glad it's Saturday and then as I was heading back to bed I'm like it's not Saturday, you dummy. It's it's Friday. But this week work-wise has been way better. It was like a busy week, but not stressful. And like I was saying, I think yesterday, that I like those kind of days where they're busy and you have stuff to do and um, but they're not stressful. So and that was today also was um so all in all, the whole work week was great. So <clears throat> I think I don't remember having any stressful days. If I did, I'm, I'm I'm striking them from my memory. But so now I'm gonna sit outside. Um, got my umbrella. Um, right now the um, the sun is like behind some clouds and stuff. Um, and then hopefully this weekend, Brian and I can try to fix the umbrella that we have that goes over the patio and then if we can't fix it I don't know about getting a new one because they're kind of pricey so I might have to wait um, but anyway now I'm just gonna read my book until Brian gets home and later I'm gonna play some more Animal Crossing it's the beginning of it's May 1st today so there's gonna be new fish and bugs to catch and so and then and then yeah and then also the tarantula goes away and the scorpion comes out so I want to try to catch a scorpion on the game but that doesn't happen till after seven so I'll probably get on like later in the evening and since it's Friday maybe I'll stay up late and play and then I also want to do my relaxation bath like I do on Fridays but for now I'm gonna sit here and read and just wanted to give a little update just you know still <laughs> on house stay-at-home orders and all that stuff so I will talk to you again soon so it's Saturday morning and I'm gonna play a little bit of this and then I'm gonna go to Target today Hey guys, so it's Saturday, about 10.05, and I'm headed to Target. I was going to go to the car wash, but I can see it from here and it is packed. So I think I'll try to remember to stop on my way home. Because I don't think I've washed my car, because I hardly go anywhere. But I'm paying for like a car wash plan where you can have like unlimited washes in a month but I haven't been to the car wash in like two months now so or almost two months not quite um, so I'm headed to Target Django only has two cans of cat food left and we need a few we need some like um, fabric softener uh, sheets and some uh, stain remover you know we're still supposed to be under a stay-at-home order and it seems like each day that goes by like when I sit outside after I get off work I hear so much traffic on the streets and everything and 
like right now just trying to turn onto the road so I can get onto the next road to go to Target it's just it's super crowded like every other Saturday I think people are just getting really tired of staying at home and at least for Missouri, Missouri um, at least I think it's up to the governor if they want to put more restrictions in but Missouri the state is lifting theirs on the 4th of May um, and then different counties like my county has like restrictions they're still going to be keeping um, the social distancing and then a lot of the stores out here now are requiring face masks which I wear one when I go in stores and I have this whole time which reminds me I actually have um, I'm stopping at a light now I have actual face masks now instead of um, the scarf one that I made or the bandana one I made so I've got actual ones now we have this place called Charlie Hustle that I don't know if they're like all over or if they're just in Kansas City honestly but they do like a lot of the sports memorabilia and sports clothing and things like that and they do things for charity um, like a lot of times when something is going on they'll make t-shirts and then you know a huge portion of the amount or all of it goes to charity stuff like that well these face masks they had a thing where they come in a three pack and they're kind of a little bit pricey but um, every for every three pack that somebody buys they donate a three pack so that's why I went ahead and got them from them and so um, that's what Brian and I've been using now the kids the places they work provide them for them um, so I just have to get them for Brian and I um, and so I don't and I'm going to Target I have not gone to except that one time I did a pickup order from Walmart I have not been inside Walmart at all I just keep seeing like I said before I think their parking lot is packed and we have on Facebook there's like a community page and you'll see people all the time posting on there you know about how crowded Walmart is and how a lot of the people aren't wearing masks and you know Walmart's trying really hard to do the social distancing and I guess in the lines people stay on the marks or whatever but they also have the stickers on the floor to do try to do one-way aisles and people are ignoring or they're not noticing the stickers and they're saying you know like people are bringing their whole families and just all that so I make I've made my choice that I've been going to the Target because you know for things like what I need today because the few times I've gone there what has it been like has it been twice since we've been um, home quarantined or whatever they call it and they've been very organized they've like they're sanitizing the carts and you can sit and see them do it plus they let you re-sanitize if you want they've got like the one way on the aisles they have um, I think I told you guys they even asked a woman very nicely they asked her to leave because she was coughing really bad I think it was like when I went two weeks ago um, I don't know I just feel more comfortable in Target um, so yeah so now that's what I'm doing it just every single time I get out of the house it feels it just feels nice to get out of the house like right now it feels nice just to be driving because um, I didn't get out I didn't drive anywhere last week at all or even on the weekend now Brian and I, when I went to the, he drove when we went to the cardiologist last week, and then we went over to the lake, um, so I still, I got out of the house, you know, because it's, there's just, it's not the same as just sitting in your backyard, you know what I mean? That you're getting outside of your house, but you're not getting out and about, because I like to get out and about, I miss that, you know how I would putts around at different stores you know even if I didn't buy anything 
I sometimes I go to Target and then I'd like be like, oh, I'm gonna just run over to Marshalls or I'll run over to Kohl's or you know I'd run over to somewhere else. A lot of times, not even buy anything, you know, just looking around, being being out and stuff. So today I'm trying an experiment because I saw. I hope I remember to tell you guys if it works. Um, I had seen where if you just wash your glasses with like um, soap and water and then let them air dry, it's supposed to keep your glasses from fogging up with a face mask. And so we'll see. Mine don't fog horrible, horrible. Yeah, see, Target's even limiting the number of people that can go in the store at a time. I see them out there. So hopefully I can get in, but if not, that's all right. So, um, yeah, the other thing on my face masks, the ones like this that you can tie, I tie them on the sides so I can just loop them around my ears because they fit tighter for one. And also, yeah, because I've got it tight. <laughs> it makes my ears stick out, but I can cover them with my hair. My glasses aren't fogging up at all. I'm even like breathing. <sighs> yeah, it works. Okay guys, I can tell you the, the, the washing your glasses with the soap and water and letting them air dry works. So, okay, I'm all set and ready. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm done in Target and uh, I splurged and I treated myself. <laughs> Oh man, it's hot in my car. Need to figure out the vents. Because right now they're pointing at my feet and that's not gonna work. So I bought myself a few things. I figured I would show you. I got Django's cat food. I got, um, I feel like my face is like extra red. Um, I think from having the mask. By the way, the um, the glasses trick worked worked perfect the whole time. So I got I love Garfield, and I got this little Funko Pop set because it comes with a Garfield Pop, which I wish it actually had, you know, like more like the white of Garfield's eyes kind of weird how it's black but I liked the t-shirt a lot the Garfield's lasagna so I got myself that then I got this you know I didn't think that I liked Stephen King as much as I do if it wouldn't have been for um, I went to the thrift store a few months ago and I found like several Stephen King books. Every single one of them I've liked. So I got this and it's like um, several stories. Um, stories, the bazaar of bad dreams. So I thought that would be neat. And then I got myself this because I've never tried these two flavors. I've tried the middle one all the time, several times. I'm actually was got really burned out on that. Um, Cause I used to get them and I liked them and then my mother-in-law found out I liked them. And so then she used to buy them for me, like big containers of them, like at Christmas and stuff. And so I got really burned out on them. And then I didn't have the heart to tell her, you know, stop buying them. Um, because I love her and I didn't want to hurt her feelings. But then I've got these other two flavors I've never had before. So one of them is dark chocolate. Um, and then the other one has coconut and stuff. And then the last thing I got to treat myself was I got just a little t-shirt dress. It's like just this little, looks like this. It's just a little like dress, little t-shirt dress. So, I splurged. Why is this air coming out hot? Um, 
I turn the air on, but it's still like the heat. It's like you got to turn the temperature down. I for, I for, it's been so long since I've used my car a whole lot. I'm forgetting, and, I, and plus you guys know I didn't get a whole heck of a lot of time, you know, since we were having the issues for a while. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys about something. I, I don't need another one of these yet, but I went ahead and got one. But if you, I don't know if you can tell, but I didn't put a whole lot in today, but I've got really, really bad roots right now. And they're about like that thick with the gray. And I didn't do it along here. I just did it, you know, right here where I parted my hair. But Tressa May makes this root touch up spray. It makes me think of back in the day, uh, I can't think of the guy's name, but he had like that spray that got, they were having like bald guys spray on, but this, but anyway, this is a root touch up. Um, it costs seven bucks at Target. It lasts a long time. Um, I got the dark brown. I have one of these and it's just temporary. So, you know, it washes out when you wash your hair. But since I'm, I just use it here, it doesn't like get on my pillow or anything like that. Um, I mean, I've never tried to use it like and go like to a pool or somewhere. Even though I don't get my hair wet, you know, you get splashed or whatever. So I've never used it like that. I just use it, you know, for like day to day. Because um, I have the, the, where you can like do a root touch up and like dye your hair. But this is like super quick and easy. And it works, at least I find that it works. So I just figured I would tell you guys about it in case you're fighting the grays. Um, so, yeah, um, can't really think of anything else. Now I'm heading home. So, I was trying to think, oh, I bought a pool noodle because, um, we don't need any for like the lake, but Brian was trying to find like a skinnier pool noodle to put like along some of the edges on the barbecue grill for when you put the cover on so it doesn't, it's not like sharp on the edges. So I bought one of those to try and see if that works. I've seen like all kinds of like hacks or whatever where they use um, pool noodles for things like that. So figured we could, you know, for a buck, might as well try that. And then I bought a harness for Django. We've taken him outside a couple times. I bought a harness like when he was a kitten. And part of the problem with it, it's like he kind of likes to go outside. He's, he doesn't act like he's terrified or anything. He likes to sniff around and stuff, but he doesn't like getting the harness on. And part of it's because the one we got, you gotta, it's like got a lot of parts to it. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> and so I got the kind that just, I'll try to remember to show you guys next time we take him out. Um, but it just basically will slip over his legs and then you just hook it on the back so it should be quicker and hopefully more comfortable for him and then um, he can come outside a little bit. Um, you know just to kind of enrich his little world, you know. So, I got that. I got my little treats that I showed you. I got his cat food. I got some almond milk because I was getting really low on almond milk. I want to go to the Dollar Tree so bad, but I'm going to not. <sighs> it looks crowded. And our Dollar Tree is really little. I don't know how they're going to be doing the social distancing. I did notice almost every person in Target had a face mask. Last time I came, a couple of weeks ago, they didn't. There was like more people did not than did. This time, way more had them. I just saw maybe just a couple of people that didn't have masks on. And of course, all the employees had them on. Um, I was trying to think if I had anything they have all their lawn or all their summer stuff out that's like outdoor. They didn't have, you know, they come out with the like really pretty cups and plates and placemats and all the little summery things. They didn't have any of that out yet. Um, that was, it was kind of weird because the 
like seasonal aisles, those were the ones that they have like one direction. I think maybe they think more people are going to be going down those aisles, but I was the only one over there. Um, just looking, because I did look around this time. Other times I've gone, I've just gone in, got exactly what I wanted, and gone out. And today I did look around some. I didn't look around at everything. Like I didn't go over to the makeup and all that kind of stuff, but I did go into the clothes. Actually, not all of them. They had the t shirt dresses were like right along the aisle. And so I went in that little area. Um, but I didn't go like through all the clothes and stuff. And right now you can't even try any on. They say you can't try on any clothes or shoes. So I didn't like go look at shoes or um, I didn't look at, I don't need any of that stuff. So <laughs> I splurged on, I still got a t-shirt. I love that Garfield shirt. I like those um, Funkos. Like, I have a, another, a couple of t-shirts that they have done, and they're nice quality. They're really nice quality. So, but I liked how it also had, like, um, a different color around the, the sleeve and the neck. And I just really like Garfield. I don't see a whole lot of things with Garfield on them anymore. I remember when I was a kid, when I'd go to the library, I always used to like to get the Garfield books. And it was, it was like a whole bunch of the comic strips and stuff. And then um, they would have cartoons and the holiday specials and all that different stuff. So Garfield and Odie and John. I forget what John's girlfriend's name was. And then they had the vet too. But I can't really think of anything else. I showed you all my goodies. That sounded perverted, didn't it? I showed you my goodies. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, on that note, <laughs> I'll talk to you again soon. So I came home and made me a drink. I've been drinking. This is just the Target version of the Crystal Light. Um, we've got several different flavors, but this kind of helps me drink water. Um, I don't know why they add caffeine. It doesn't matter to me, but um, it probably isn't much. But I like the grape. But that's what I'm having. I just figured I, I, I'm sure a lot of people know all about these, but I just figured I would share I'm having a grape drink now. Well, now Django is pissed at me because <laughs> I tried. This is the harness I got for him. But I tried it on him, it fits but he has got to not gain any more weight. It's just like, I don't know, the sizing that you had, this is the extra small, but then the small was so much bigger. Um, and it is a dog harness. Although I know Pet Smart has cat ones, but they look just like this and they're a lot more money. This one was like 1050, I think, so. That's the harness, and I tried it on him, and now he's mad at me. But I figured I'd open this and show you guys what it looks like, and show me what it looks like. Um, if you hear any noise, I'm not sure if you will, but Brian is outside. He's installing um, another vent in the shed, because it gets pretty hot, so he's just installing like another thing that air can flow through. And it's got a screen on it, too, so that way... Um, wasps or creepy crawlies so took the plastic off oh yeah and then the pop is like I don't... oh he's furry so it looks like that and I can see like let's take him out and I'll show you guys he's like fuzzy I don't know why the oh they have an Odie version too. I don't know why their eyes are black. That's kind of weird to me, but I still like him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So can you see the texture on him? He's fuzzy. Look at his little 
back and tail. He's so adorable. I think you can tell he's fuzzy. He's so cute. I'm gonna put you with my other pops. Might have to get another shelf. And then the t-shirt. You could pick the size of the t-shirt and I got the medium one because it's uh, unisex. Kind of wishing maybe I'd got the large, but I don't know. Well, maybe not. Yeah, no, medium will be fine. But this is so cute. I really like that. I like that a lot. I was looking to make, yep, that's medium. Yeah, it's plenty big. When I first held it up, I think I had, I think it was still folded a little like this, <laughs> so it didn't look that big, but it's really cute. All right, well, that's that. Oh, are you not mad at me anymore? Oh, I said, are you not mad at me anymore? And he's like, you know, real slow blink. Yeah. Here, come here, let me, let me, let me show with the peeps. The big boy. Look at the big boy. <laughs> He's gotten so big. He turned a year, April 5th. So he's all grown up. We graduated him to, instead of the kitten crunchy food, it's he's on the cat crunchy food. But he's he's turned out so handsome. All those markings on him. He's so handsome. Oh, he's turned into be a really good cat. Well, he has his moments. You guys that have cats, you know, they, they have their moments. But anyway, that's that for now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week because I think now I'm just going to probably just play my game for a while. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about dinner or anything later. Probably nothing special. Um, maybe have some Marie Callender's pot pies. Can you tell I just I cook so much? I'm not really into cooking. Neither one of us are into cooking a, a lot, but we go through phases. We like we'll go through phases where we cook a bunch, or phases where we go the easy route. <laughs> right now we're in an easy route phase. You would think with being at home we would be more into cooking, but we're not. I don't know. I think it's because it's like, no, I know part of it is because we're not going to the grocery store as much. So when we cook, we buy a whole lot more variety of like fresh foods, you know, fruits, vegetables, meat. Now meat is hard to find, believe it or not. Is it hard to find by you? Um, then, you know, trying to, to shop for a meal, we would do, we would go like, we used to go to the grocery store probably about every three days, and now we go like more like every couple weeks maybe. Um, but anyway, I'm starting to ramble like I do. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, and uh, hopefully you all have a really good weekend, and hopefully we do too, and so far so good, and it was a much better week this week. So anyway, I hope you all come back next week. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.